Today we're going to play magic, but every spell costs zero mana. Well, hello there, random person on the internet, and if you wouldn't have to pay mana to cast spells, you could easily just win the game pretty much as soon as you get priority, because you can just draw your entire deck, which honestly sounds kinda boring. But if you'd have to pick your deck booster draft style from a pool of random sets, things get a little more difficult. Or do they? Not really, actually. You could just only pick cards that say draw a card or more, interaction because our opponents also don't have to pay mana, and some big beaters to kill them as quick as possible. Yeah, we're doing exactly that. I'm just going to show you the highlights so we can get into the action, but that's pretty much it. Oh, wait. We still want to win on turn one, so let's pick up something that gives haste as well. Since we don't need to put lands in our deck though, we are only allowed to cut five cards from our deck, so let's hope we didn't need to pick up too many unplayables. And here we are, right in the ad read. For cardkingdom.com, your place to go for anything magic related, link is in the description. Nah, we're actually just in the game. Hand has some draw spells, so we keep it. Kinda sucks to be on the draw here, but we do have a counter spell up at least. Path to the festival. Yeah, so some cards do absolutely nothing in this format. I guess they had to pick up some trash in the draft portion. Lawhold Pledge Mage? Yep, don't really care about this one. Indoctrination Attendant? There are some infinite combos with this, so I guess we counter this? Oh, they got a counter as well. Never mind then, scries to the top. Case the joint to draw two. Tainted Pact. Oh, I guess we can only hope they don't actually have a combo piece in their deck. Rust Goliath? That's yeah, fine with me. Oh, I should have mentioned, once each turn you can generate Wubberg to pay for abilities and cast stuff from other zones than their hand. I guess they path for no value again? Okay, and pass the turn? Well then, here we go. End step Union of the Third Path to draw a card and gain 6. Deliberate to scry 2 and draw a card. Two draw spells on top. Perfect. Let's go into our turn and yep, try to finish them right here. Winged Words to draw 2. Kick a Feared Research to draw 3. They counter it. Nah, I kinda really want those cards. Confirmed suspicions. Counter the counter. Create three clues. Draw three. Crack a clue to draw. <sighs> I guess they can also just scoop. Okay. Whoa, and our reward is 20 gems because we already had the card that we would have won? How did they not fix that yet? Just give me another card. <laughs> At least you tapped that like button already, right? And you also checked out my merch at mtgoldfishmerch.com. Looks pretty sick. Alright, another sweet hand. On the draw again. Well, I guess we have to sit through their turn again. Jewel Thief enters, creates a treasure. Sumala Woodshaper. Okay, when it enters they can look at the top four cards and see if they can find a creature or enchantment. Finds a Siege Worm. Cast it. Well, let's counter this one since it's kinda beefy. Skull Prophet. Cross and Druid kick to gain 10, sure, and they pass the turn. Let's deliberate, scry 2, 2 draw spells, perfect, draw a card, contact other planes, see if we can get lucky and draw 3, nope, but we get to scry 2 and draw 2, and uh, now it's time for a glorious turn. Winged words, draw 2 cards, kick a field research, draw 3 cards, oh, cast practical research, draw 4 cards and then discard an instant or sorcery or 2. Come on, is this just gonna be impossible because everybody just scoops? Oh, and we win 20 gems again instead of a rare? Alright, here we are on the draw again and no counter backup this time. Let's see what they can do to us, I guess. Tireless hauler, sure. Do rest to make us discard a non-creature spell. I guess it doesn't really matter what they pick because we have Dryad's Revival. Let's cast our draw spells though. Contact other plane, draw two. Union of the third path, draw one, gain eight. Hmm, we could counter the duress, but they're probably just gonna take the counter, so let's deliberate. Oh, wow, I guess we're just gonna win next turn. I, I mean, I guess that's the plan. So just let the duress happen. They pick the counter. Well, I guess they really have to do their worst here, because we pretty much got lethal in hand already. Tidal Terror. Vexing Girl. Lunark Mantle to buff the hauler. And that's it? <laughs> well, <laughs> here's the plan. Play Revival to get back the counter, then play Hoarding Broodlord. When it enters, we search our library for a spell, exile it to cast whenever. Now we do have to pay mana for it because it's not in our hand, but conveniently, this practical study cost exactly the 5 mana we got at our disposal. Draw 4 cards, discard 1, 
play Rust Goliath as a 10-10. Now, if we would have been on the play, we could have just won here by giving these two haste and pump them up with Invasion of Kylum. But since we have the Adventure of the Shepherd to bounce the battle back into our hand, we can just recast it and haste and pump up two more creatures, give the Goliath flying and hit them for ultra lethal here. And well, here we finally go. Swings of the Guild Pact. Oh, get the f So it turns out it's quite a big ass to have somebody sit through you, drawing your entire deck and then alpha stumping them into oblivion on turn one. I guess uh, that's just not something arena players are into. Whoa, look at this hand though. And we on the play? Whew. Let's try to play optimally here, set a stop in our upkeep in case they want to spend mana to pay costs so their mana pool empties before our main phase. Start up by contacting another plane. Oh wow, and the upkeep stop thing actually worked. They cycle to draw a card. We draw mm, two cards. Pass into our main phase. <laughs> I mean, let's do the thing. Winged words to draw two. Shimmer of possibility. Look at the top four cards. There's our haste. Now we just need something to beat them up with. Practical research. Draw four. Discard raven form. Revitalize to draw a card and gain three. Dryad's revival to get back the research. Draw four again. Discard one. Kick field research to draw three. Sky Scanner, draw one. There it is. <laughs> Rust Goliath as a 10 10. Greater Sandworm. Street Riot to add some insult to injury. Invasion of Kylam. Enters the battlefield. Haste and pump up the beat sticks. And here we go. Turn one win. And our opponent didn't even scoop. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Sadly, that was the only game where our opponent didn't scoop. And we would have done the same thing regardless. So, <clears throat> sorry, no bonus game this time. But check out last episode where we copy every permanent infinite times. This video and more, all in this playlist. Buy my merch if you're cool. Remember to tap that like button. Subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one.